tell you, I'm tired of being alone. I don't know why it's so hard to date these days. I talk to all kinds of girls, and I can't just seem to find the one that's right. I see people are hooking up on the internet. My character is a young man struggling to find his soulmate, his other half. Um, like a lot of us, he uh, used different avenues to try to find it, but it, it wasn't quite right. So, at, out of a shot of desperation, he, he went to a place that he didn't even think he would ever go to, and that was uh, to the internet. Uh, see, Terrence was used to going out and meeting the girl at a bar or in a social setting but he seen the success that others had and thought that he could mimic it. However, he, he caught himself in a lot of precarious situations for going against his first gut feeling. And that just shows you what's good for some people is not good for all. What crazy game is this? This dating app stuff is a joke. Don't make promises you can't keep. Because if you break them, I'll kill you with no hesitation. <laughs> You're so crazy. I play the character of Teresa, who is a overly hurt woman who has clearly let way too many people in who didn't deserve to be, and now she's just losing her mind. She took one more chance, and the person blew it. Uh, Supposedly blew it. He was see. What? What? You catfish me? I'm glad you could come out tonight. I've got a little proposition I'd like you to hear. Okay, I'm listening. Well. <sighs> I don't. Do such things as that, sir. Good day. All right, so this is one of the actors from Looking for, Looking for Love. All right, what's your name? Sierra Davis. All right, and who's your character? Susan. Susan? All right, tell us a little bit about your character and the role that she played in the movie. <laughs> Susan basically is the one who catfishes Terrence, um, put a fake profile together, you know, but believe a skinny like kind of a white woman or something <laughs> you know and uh, obviously that is not me <laughs> you know but every black girl got a skinny white woman in the somewhere hey you Same know <laughs> hi I'm Rob Scheimer I play Mr. Bill in Looking for Love alright so did you enjoy yourself filming with uh, Southern Vision Entertainment today yeah it was fun okay it was, you uh, experience yeah um Lasted a little long, but I should have been prepared for that. Okay, okay. You have any like um, keynotes you want to add? What you like most about you know filming today? Uh, the crew was fun. Um, it was real nice. Um, laid back atmosphere. Um, not rigid. Not like everybody do this and only this, but like everybody help out. Right. Everybody do what needs to happen. Great. Okay, okay. My name is Jessica Katz and I played Mrs. Bill. Alright, so what about your experience? Like, did you enjoy yourself? Was it challenging? Was it, you know, just tell us what you liked about the film. It was a lot of fun. Um, at first I was a little nervous, but it was a really fun character to play. Alright, what's your favorite part? Hmm. That I got to be flirty. <laughs> Real name Wendell Davis. Character name is Mike. Alright, so tell us about Mike. Like, what's interesting about him? What makes him, you know, the character he is? Mike more of a character, more of a caring to pretty much roll with me. Okay. Pretty much care me, helping his friend out, Terrence. Pretty much his friend in there who got shot okay, by okay. with his date, dating site. What's your opinion on dating sites? Like, do you feel like, I don't know, you meet more crazies than you do actual real people on these dating sites? I think you do. It's just a mixture. It's a mixture. Yeah. All right, all right. Be careful. Uh, this short 
should actually inspire people to connect more on a personal level than between the phone of your camera, or your, your computer, anything of that nature. Go out and, and meet a person. Don't rush into things. Take your time. You know, get to know a person. It's not always about the physical. It's not always about what you want to hear because somebody will tell you what you want to hear every day. But give it time, learn from your mistakes, and follow your heart. About the dating app service out there, um, the stories that I hear that goes on, man, people gotta really be careful and aware on who's on the other side of the app and who's on the other side of that line because you can end up in a situation where you could get catfish or it could be something totally different on the other side, a totally different situation on the other side. So you just gotta look out for it. And then on the on the good side of things that like it I think is a wonderful tool for people to meet people and um, that's in the same town and go out on dates and stuff. So it has its goods and it has its bads. So with this movie we touched on the um really like a lot of crazy things that can happen just give you a little bit of aspect of the things that can happen when you're um, involved with the dating app service so basically the overall message is to really be careful about using the dating app service and really be aware and always do background checks and and, and just check you know what I'm saying just look into the situation before you make arrangements look into the situation before you move fast with people you know what I'm saying so because it's you never know who you're going to meet on the other side Come here. Stop being so picky. Let's talk. Hell no! Okay, anything for the yearbook? Southern Vision Entertainment. I will say this. They gave me my first paid acting gig. So it started here. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No matter what anybody says, anybody says about you, whatever you say and whatever you think is what's actual. Forget everybody else, just follow everything that you want to do so you can be happy at the end of this journey. Okay, okay, so um, what you have for the yearbook? Like anything, any more projects coming up for you or? Uh, no, I'm gonna get hired on some things shooting where I live in South Georgia, but other than that, nothing tied down right now. <laughs> so uh, you have anything for the yearbook, anything you wanna add, anything you wanna you know, just let your fans out there know, hey, check me out, this time the third. I had a great time with everybody. Let's do more. Let's do more. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You look, um, I'd like to say I appreciate all the actors and actresses that came out and worked on the film. Um, we had a great time. Everybody did a great job. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, I'm just looking forward to working with everybody again. I can't wait till this project come out till we preview it and, and try to get it out there into the world, man. I think everyone the whole world deserves to see this project, man. It's, it's definitely a drop dead comedy. All right. Um. You got any, any remarks or anything that you wanna you wanna add for the yearbook? Um. Uh, any special shout out? Just have fun. You know, check my music out. I also do music, y'all rap at CC Devote. You know, you know, gang, uh, gang. <laughs> and where, where, can, where can we where can we find your music? You can find it. Um. On SoundCloud, CC DeVoe, C E C E D E V O E DeVoe. Also follow me on Instagram, CC DeVoe at CC DeVoe. And I'm on Facebook as well as CC DeVoe. So it should be easy. Y'all should, it's all the same. And you know, some people be having one name for this, one name for that, one name for that. It's all the same, CC DeVoe. And uh, just be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>